Good day everybody, here Gabriele from Luciswo Guitars and with today's video I wanted to speak about this Kamaitachi 7 and I also wanted to speak about uh, the armrest in general uh, for your better understanding on how I did this thing and what uh, have been the you know the difficult uh, tries, the failures and what is involved to you know to do something like this and so this guitar in particular will be shown uh, at Padova um, Guitar Show in 19, 18 and 19 May and uh, this was like the second one uh, because the one you maybe can see here um, it was meant to be displayed on the show but it was uh, sold so quickly that I needed to, to redo another one and um, they both share the colors but the you know the pattern and the fades are different because this one go from a blue to a fade on this direction while this other one go from uh, purple here to this direction sorry to this direction and um, both share uh, a new uh, technique I'm using right now maybe you have uh, seen something uh, about the you know the colors and the finishes I'm putting out and this one is a materic one so it means that the body that is a white limba uh, it's it have the grain all filled from the the primer you know the base coat etc but uh, the paint here it have um, you know something like a, a materic finish so you can literally fill it and this was done essentially you know to try to achieve a different look on guitars of course you have uh, a satin one or a, a gloss finish but uh, again uh, I was trying to you know to develop a bit more um, the feel of a guitar in your hand of course this kind of texture metallic texture it's not uh, on the neck and on the armrest uh, this essentially because uh, you know every guitarist have their approach and they found their home uh, on the neck and uh, you know on the touch of the guitar so being this one uh, the first contact point for a guitar player I don't I really didn't want to add something that it may sound a bit strange especially if you are wearing like a t-shirt and you can feel something strange and, you know it's something that can eventually kill your experience and the same thing about the neck so the texture is still the same one but of course it's a it's a satin finish Other aspects of this guitar uh, is about the neck. This is a uh, hard rock maple. I have some issues saying hard rock maple. I always tend to say maple, but it's a hard rock maple. And uh, the fretboard here it's a rich light one. So you know, fret sprue solved, sturdy and stable. Of course, we have also on all the Kamaitachi. Uh, the rainforest roads here along the neck to have the best stability for the neck and you know everything else is pretty standard in terms of material it's just the the finish that it's really you know it's really cool looks like a, a futuristic one and then now uh, about the armrest process i have here some prototypes i've been doing uh the past um here some may say so here we have the first one so this is the first prototype for the armrest and uh, you may notice that it's uh, a bit different from the actual one uh, first of all the material is different because this one it's very hard and it was another kind of material but uh, you know the one of the purpose of the vapor is, try, is to try to reduce the weight so this weight like the uh, the wood piece so it's not going to work and also uh, if you notice here uh, the attachment points were different and they come from this side and uh, also the the belly cut here was done uh, doing this trim so it was of course a failure uh, but uh, you know leave and learn and try different things until something works out uh, so this is the second try and the material here was different it was the hips uh, it's called so and again uh, we had this kind of um, you know contact point for the guitar but it was still uh, a bit um, you know not really sturdy it was not really good and again another fail and then we tried something different with this one 
Uh, as you notice here, the honeycomb pattern it's a big, it's a bit bigger, and the material is the same, the hip, but of course having uh, larger patterns, the, the structure is not really uh, sturdy anymore. And if you notice here, we have also this notch on the on the bottom side. It, it was intended to be in contact in contact with the wood to have a uh, more contact point. Uh, we avoided that a little uh, thing here. So this one was flat to be able to have much more uh, surface in contact, but again, uh, the armrest here was uh, again not working good. So here we go to another prototype. Uh, here we introduce the this kind of attachment uh, to the, the guitar, like uh, the one that is uh, in the actual Kamaitachi. And uh, it was the best solution because of course we have the weight distributed here. And But I was still struggling with the, the armrest because I didn't want to cut too much material to uh, and then maybe have some issues with the strength. And also here uh, we reduced the honeycomb pattern to try to, you know, you have more uh, stability. And finally, I was able to put out uh, this one, that is the, the latest version. And uh, I was able to cut the armrest like it's on the actual uh, lines of these guitars. So these are all efforts and tries and, you know, prototypes uh, that uh, it should be made before, uh, you know, putting out uh, something that you want to uh, to sell and to provide to customers. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understand a bit better uh, the way I've built them and see you in the next one. Bye.